And then the last one we're going to look at is wrought iron fences. Again, we've delivered three of them at basically at three different heights. Again, added as a point to the template. Uh, can be placed uh, as geometry uh, basically from the profile designed from the corridor. And then the element templates uh, used to point to the custom line styles for those fences. So let's take a look then at our example. I got a bridge here with the Jersey barrier on the side. I'm going to go ahead and edit that template drop. So we'll select that. And then on the Jersey barrier, I've already pre-set up a point for us, so we're just going to edit that point. And we're going to pick a new point name here, which will pick the appropriate feature definition. And so I'm going to pick the four foot uh, wrought iron fence. Apply that close and then OK and then you'll see that fence get modeled along the top of that jersey barrier. So in conclusion uh, we do have available training on all of this out there on the learn. Uh, just do a search for the Open Roads Designer workspace setup. Uh, you'll see there the title at the top and all of these topics are going to be covered out there in terms of how we set up our workspace. Thank you for your time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.